everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a very highly requested video for you guys, a bridal party gift guide. Now I did do a blog post on this on my blog, She's That Girl Guide. It will be linked below. It was a little bit more in depth as far as like examples of what I was talking about, but I've noticed in being in the blog and YouTube world, there are two different types of people. People who read blogs, people who watch YouTube videos, very rarely do you find two that like both equally. So, you know, you may not have read the blog post, you may have, I don't know, but it will be linked below for you guys. Also, I just got done filming this makeup tutorial for you guys. This look will be up on my channel on Thursday, so make sure that you go below and subscribe so you are notified when this video goes live. Give this video a thumbs up so I can know if you are new here, and before I ramble on anymore, let's just get into the video. Of course I'm wearing my wifey shirt even though I'm not a wifey yet because <laughs> I freaking can. Alright, so the three things that we are going to be talking about today as far as like the overview of the bridal party gift guide are affordability, practicality, and usability. Those are things that when I was thinking of what I wanted to get my bridesmaids, I had in mind. So as much as I would love to spoil every single one of the sweet girls that will be a part of my wedding on the day of and to an extent, they will be spoiled, but I just didn't want to like blow hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars for something that was going to be one day. So I did kind of set a budget, what I wanted to spend per girl, not overall, just like per girl. Wanted to spend a little bit more money on my parents and their gifts, and I can do a video on that if you guys want me to, just let me know below. This is a little bit more focused on the bridesmaids and groomsmen. But I just kind of set a budget that I wanted to spend per girl and I have been very strict in sticking with that budget and that does include like the gifting. So I'm going to get them all um, gift boxes and I found them online, I just haven't purchased them yet. Um, Cause I mean, I just, I know they'll have to like sit around here and they'll probably get destroyed from my cats. But I found these perfect little gift boxes on the t um, online and I'm going to like write their names on them. So it included everything right down to like the packaging that they will get the gift in. That is something that I recommend. Definitely set a budget per girl. Now, the practicality and usability are kind of the same thing. I will get more in depth with this when I'm talking about specifically bridesmaid gifts and then groomsmaid gifts. Um, I wanted to get my girls stuff that they could use past the wedding day, and I'll be more specific later, but I, I just didn't want to get them something that was just like, oh thanks, I can use it today and day only, and then it's pointless. And so when I sat down and was thinking about what I wanted to gift the girls, I really put a lot of thought into how long they would be able to use it. So I just was trying to keep in mind the future, not necessarily just the wedding day when I was getting them this gift, because wedding day is only one day. So starting in the bridesmaid gift section, I cannot show you guys anything that I am getting my bridesmaids because they watch my videos and they are not allowed to know, but they know what they are, like they just can't know what these things look like. So I definitely recommend getting your girls some jewelry. I have gifted or will be gifting my girls with a necklace and a set of earrings. They match. They are so gorgeous. They came in the mail this week and I was just like, whew, that is pretty. I'm not wearing a necklace on my wedding day, but if I was, that would be what I would wear. It was just very elegant and classy. I definitely recommend getting your girls something that they can wear on the wedding day because if you're not doing matching dresses or you are or whatever, you just want all the girls to match. And I think that's something that's really cute is you can get them all something um, that they can wear in uniform and you can see in the pictures. I cannot express that. I cannot express this enough. I'm like tongue tied. That's how much I can express it. Don't get your bridesmaid something that says bridesmaid on it, unless you are asking them to just be your bridesmaid. When I asked my girls to be my bridesmaid, I got them all these like pretty, cause I got engaged around Christmas time. I got them all these like pretty little Christmas balls that me and my mom made and they were like glitter and they said bridesmaid question mark. And although it's so cute, they're only going to be bridesmaid for my wedding once. And I know that some other bride probably won't want, um, you know, her friend using a bridesmaid cup from a different wedding. And so getting them stuff that says bridesmaid on it is pretty useless after your wedding day. So I would never recommend getting your girls something that says bridesmaid on it. But like I've seen pieces of jewelry that said like bridesmaid on them or you could put the wedding day on. Honestly, your wedding day doesn't matter that much to your friend. It's so precious that she gets to be there and be a part of your day. But after that, May 26th is just gonna be another, that's my wedding day. 
your anniversary is just going to be another date to her. And so don't get your bridesmaid anything that says bridesmaid on it or bride tribe or bridal party. If it's something that you want them to be able to use after the wedding, which I highly recommend because if you're going to spend a lot of money on a gift for them and you want them to feel special, they're going to want to use it far after your day is over. So just food for thought. Next is the getting ready situation. Um, that also includes not putting bridesmaid on something. A lot of girls now, I know you see it done to death. Etsy is blown up with people who want to get all these like customizable getting ready robes and all the stuff that's so cute for getting ready and getting like pictures. Um, so really keep in mind what you're getting your girls for getting ready and like the time of year and where you'll be and all of that stuff. So I am getting all of my girls getting ready robes. They are all going to have their first name on them. This goes back to the practicality. I am the first of all of the girls that are in my bridal party to be getting married. All of their last names will change. So there's no point in getting them a robe that has their monogram on it because I would never use something that had my old monogram on it for a long period of time after I am married. So I got all of the girls robes that have their first name on them. Now this is just me. I know that brides like to stand out obviously with the rule, you know, you all, you're the only one that wears white on your wedding day. And so a lot of times you'll see only the bride in the white robe and then the bridesmaids in like corresponding colors to the wedding. The bride in white and all the bridesmaids in champagne. I've seen them in all purple. I've seen them in all pink. Just totally depends. I actually am getting my girls all white robes because back to the usability of it, none of them are married yet. And so it would mean so much to me if I gifted these girls with a robe that had their first name on it and then they use it on their wedding day. So that's why I got them all white robes. It's not a huge deal to me that we all be in white while we're getting ready. Um, it's not something I'm like super stressed about. I mean, obviously it will be evident that I am a bride by, you know, the veil that shoved into my head. but. It's just, it's not a big deal for me that all the robes be white. And so all of the robes the girls are getting are white with champagne writing on them, first name. They can use them long after my wedding day is over and I'm really excited about that. Something extra you can get your girls. Now this kind of goes into the budgeting side. If you have the money that you want to get them a different gift, there are so many different things you can get the girls. You can get the bedroom slippers. You can get them like Tervis cups. You can get them phone cases. It's totally up to you. You don't even have to get them anything if you don't want to. I'm going to probably be getting the girls. Um, I've got a few ideas. My favorite idea is probably like a swell bottle or a Tervis cup just because I think they're so cute and I know I use my Tervis cup to death because I am like a coffee obsessive freak and I always needed to go cup. And so like if you get me a coffee cup as a gift, I just know I love you. And so that's why I'm thinking maybe I'll give the girls with something like that. Again, I would only put their first name on it. Recently I was on a business trip and I saw a girl who had like a bride tribe cup and it said bride tribe like October 20 something. And I was like, oh, it's December. You're no longer in that bride tribe and here you have your cup. And she loved her cup and that's so sweet, but it's just, it's a little weird to carry around a bride tribe cup after a wedding is over. So. That is again why I will not be getting the girls anything that say like bridesmaid on it. Next we're going to be discussing groomsmen gifts and getting him to pick a groomsman gift is like pulling teeth. And he is definitely Mr. Practicality. Like we are constantly like this when it comes to like decorating our house because he's like, that's stupid. It doesn't make sense. Why is that there? It has no purpose. And I'm like, but it's cute. So shh. So getting a groomsman gift has been quite the struggle for him. So I know what I'm talking about. Okay. One thing I cannot express enough, Etsy kills me on this. You can get groomsmen like packs, which are actually really cute ideas. Um, but just like the bridesmaid, get them jewelry, something they can wear during the ceremony, something that they can get ready in, something that they can use after. That's kind of a general idea. With the men, it's slightly different because when they rent their tux or suit, it comes everything, cufflink shoes, socks, pants. So it's not like you can really gift them any of those items unless it's just extra. So we're gonna get into that in a minute. But Etsy kills me because I saw when I like Googled groomsmen gifts, knives everywhere. And because they are affordable options, you can get like an engraved, your like name's friend engraved in the knife. But like being that my fiance is so obsessed with knives, he is like super serious that if he's gonna gift somebody a knife, 
like a manly knife because you know they need to cut things mm -mm -mm. it needs to be a good one and those aren't cheap so i would never recommend getting your groomsmen a knife just because it's, it's probably not going to be the best quality probably won't last a long time i could totally be wrong but the ones that we saw on etsy were not they weren't up to par with something that you like a, a lover of knives would really want and i know it just sounds so weird like being obsessed with pocket knives, but I'm obsessed with makeup, so he can be obsessed with knives, that's fine. But you're gonna wanna get them something manly. You know, you don't wanna get them a getting ready room. So you wanna get them something manly, maybe not a knife, maybe like a leather wallet or a leather, you know, card holder. I saw really cute, um, like, dot kits, which are like things that kind of like a guy's like travel bag that he puts all his man stuff in. You can get them like, you know, a little dot kit. Um, Etsy has a lot of those that are leather that you can get monogrammed for a very affordable option. Just definitely get him something that'll make him feel very masculine because something that you can get them for getting ready is like a drink or a koozie or something for getting ready. Something to like ease the nerves because I've seen guys before weddings, they like want to vomit because they ain't about it for the most part. They're not about it. So you can get them something to like ease the nerves before the ceremony. You can get them like a little bottle of, you know, whiskey, because that's manly, or a bottle of like whatever their favorite drink is, a koozie, something cute that they can use. I've seen guys use koozies well after wedding days are over with wedding dates on them, with names on them. They don't seem to care about the koozies that much. So if you want to get them a koozie that has your wedding date on it, that's actually a really cool gift idea for guys. The next thing is something personal. This could go back to maybe, you know, they have the whole tuxedo suit situation. If you want to get them all socks that match or cufflinks that match, something that they can use after the wedding day is over that's personal to them, that is really cool. The guys are wearing suspenders at our wedding and I actually really think um, we've talked about getting the suspenders with their initials on them. We've talked about socks. We've talked about the cufflinks. Haven't quite come to a decision yet, but you can find all of that on Etsy. Something personal that's going to be for them that's still a nice gift is something that's really cool for you to give your groomsmen the day of the wedding. Um, after all, they may not be the bridesmaids, you know, they may not have care of the whole time, like all into the details, but they still are part of that day. They still mean a lot. And it's, you still should thank them so, so much for being a part of that day. So you're going to want to give them something personal and nice that they can use after the wedding day, just like your girls. So really put a lot of thought into that. I will obviously, like I keep saying, like all of my favorites below, just stay away from the knives for the guys. Just stay away. Also because, I mean, I just, I don't trust those boys to not play with knives and impale each other. Just, and that is it for today's video. I hope that this helped you guys a little bit, kind of, at least not giving you like specific gift ideas. It helped you kind of figure out what scope you need to be on when you're looking for groomsmen and bridesmaids gifts. It's very difficult. I know everybody's different and you could have a bridal party that has so many different types of girls and you may not want to give them matching things. It can be a lot, trust me, on top of already wedding planning. Make sure that if you guys want me to tell you um, a little bit about a parental gift guide for your parents on your wedding, you tell me in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you are new here. And I hope to see you in my next video.